Hey guys, it's Steve coming at you with a uh, new Blender tutorial. Today we will be covering green screen and masking basics in Blender 3D. Um, so we'll be using some of the footage I uh, used in a recent short film that I put up and um, just masking and chroma keying a simple uh, section of it. So um, to start, why don't we set our resolution to be 100% and our frame rate to be 29.97 because that's what my footage is. And now we're going to switch to the motion tracking tab and open up our footage. This is uh, this will be included uh, in a link in the description. So um, download that or use your own footage. And um, we're going to start with masking. So switch uh, over to mask mode and click new mask. We'll name this mask person and to uh, start creating our mask you just hold down control and click and you see we have a point here and if we click again with control we'll have two points and they'll all be connected so just doing a basic mask around the green screen keeping out everything that is not green in our shot like so and then when you're done you hit alt C and that connects it so now um, to animate this mask, we'll start by clicking this red button down here, which is automatic keyframe insertion. Insertion. Okay. And this will uh, this will mean that every time you move your mask, it will be keyframed. And you can see the keyframe in our timeline right here. So we'll scrub through a few more frames, grab our mask, rotate it, and place it. And we might need to adjust a few of these markers. But you'll now see that between these two keyframes, the mask now moves with the footage where we have keyframed it. So we'll move another few frames, grab our mask, rotate it, and tweak a few of our uh, few of our uh, areas here, um, curves, and then continue moving on, grabbing the whole thing, rotating it, and making sure that you do not. Uh, encompass anything that is not green in your mask. Grab, grab the whole thing, move it. You can just hit A to select all and then G to move. All right, his legs kind of going out over here. His fingers are going out over here. So very simple so far. Nothing, uh, nothing at all difficult about this. And um, if you're using your own footage Chances are it will be even easier to mask than this, unless you're doing masking without the uh, chromo key, in which case you'd have to be much, much more detailed. But um, this tutorial is more for uh, beginners, so um, I will not be covering something quite so detailed in this. All right, so just his foot kind of comes close to this uh, marker over here. And... Uh, these are coming off the edge, so we'll just pull these in and move along. And um, you can grab everything again and move it. Get that mask out of there. So very simple, and you can see I've already done uh, 50 frames worth. And then you can scrub through your footage, making sure that it uh, nothing is coming out of your box at any place and it looks pretty pretty darn good to me um, at the end here this this comes out a little bit but yeah that is how you do the basic mask all right now to get this um, set up a little bit we can now switch to our compositing uh, tab up here click use nodes and backdrop and we do not need a render layer right now. We uh, we will be using an output or input movie clip, and we'll just select our footage from there. Uh, you can hit Control Shift, and it will create a viewer node for you. And then Option V or V to zoom in and out. So now we have our footage. That's a that's a nice still. <laughs> now we have our footage. We can uh, add an input mask grab our mask put it below that and we can sh add a 
we need our Matt King now. So put that in there. Select our heat color. And you want to select a darker area of the green screen. So you see right off the bat, it does a pretty good job on its own. Um, but there is some adjustments that can be made. And also, obviously, we have all this still in the shot. So that's what the mask is for. And we'll be taking the mask and putting it into the core mat. And selecting our mask person here. And um, we'll put it into the garbage mat, excuse me. And we will be adding a color invert and placing it in there. And you can see that he is isolated to our mask now. Um, there's some more adjustments we can do to our king to make this mask look better. Um, darkening our green screen up a little bit, you can see it helps a lot. But um, and then adjusting the black up a little bit, you can see we have a pretty good key right off the bat. Um, just doing a little bit of adjusting. You can do some feathering. Um, I like to go into the negatives with the feathering. So we'll do like a minus four. And I mean, there you go. That's a, uh, there's a few errors, but that's a pretty solid mask right there. Um, but you will notice one thing, and that is if I change my background color, whoop, I can't do that. Um, but if I do like that, you can see uh, that his badge here is being um, completely cut out because it's reflecting a lot of the green in it. And uh, to fix this, we'll be going back to our motion tracking tab and adding a new mask. So basically we're gonna hit the plus key and name this mask badge. Now this mask can be much smaller obviously and we're gonna just hit hold control and put four and then alt C. And now this, we can just select the whole thing, scrub through our footage, and put it on the badge, like so. Just hitting G and moving every few keyframes. Very, very easy. Um, nothing at all tricky. You can hit R to rotate it if it uh, rotates at all in your scene. But basically this is um, doing a little bit more of a detail mask to isolate objects that may be green in your shot that you do not want cut out with the uh, chromo key. We'll move a few more frames. And let's just get to zero. When you get down a little bit lower, you might want to kind of rotate these curves around to follow the edge of the green screen there. And Grab it all, rotator along there. And that's the last frame right here. So just rotate and scale her up right along there. All right, perfect. So we have this badge now animated uh, to follow that within our first 50 frames or so. And we can go to our compositing node now and duplicate this mask layer this time selecting badge and um, hang on let me uh, jump back to a frame that I've masked already alright here we go and you can see that the mask is completely cut out right now because it's reflecting the green if we just take, take this mask and put it into the core mat bam our badge is right back uh, and back to normal so there is a easy way to um, isolate certain objects of your scene that you do not want chromo keyed um, we could do a little bit more blurring to this now. You can see his fingers there doing a little bit of the blur uh, improves that. And we could also adjust our color green a little bit to try and get a little bit more detail back in those fingers. Maybe lighten it up just a tad. There we go, that's not too bad. Maybe we can uh, adjust our clip black and clip white a little bit. And then uh, changing the uh, despill will um, 
adjust the color of the mesh and you can see where it's green down here where it looks very green in the shot down here this will take out a lot of the green reflecting off your character and then the same with adjusting the balance this will change kind of the hue of the image if he's reflecting a lot of green in your shot you can uh, pull it into the opposite uh, directions and this these uh, options here are for doing some of the edge work on your scene but I normally don't really need to use those too much all right so um yeah I think that's pretty much it guys you can also select motion blur on your masks and that way is if your scene moves around a lot the scene will blur with it and um, yeah that's pretty much it you can also do use the de, uh, delete any road and this will help cut down on the edges some more if you uh, if you have a problem with your edges being uh, you know catching too much green but um, very simple um, and that's basically the end of this tutorial I just wanted to show you guys uh, how to how to mask a simple scene like this and then chroma key it so um, there I hope you uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope it was helpful and check back for more short films and tutorials and uh, exciting new things so um, I'll see you next time. Bye.